Summary of The Love Prescription Seven Days to More Intimacy, Connection, and Joy by John Gottman and Julie Schwartz Gottman, written and narrated by Janky Mind. Introduction The Love Prescription presents a pragmatic and insightful pathway to foster profound intimacy and forge stronger connections in romantic relationships. Drawing from an impressive 40-year research journey, the authors impart accessible and effective guidance that caters to couples at any stage of their journey together. While love has long been considered a perplexing enigma, John and Julie Gottman offer clarity amidst the mystery. Their expertise derives not only from their own successful marriage, but also from their distinguished careers as psychologists, researchers, and therapists. Establishing the renowned Love Lab in Seattle back in 1990, they diligently observed and studied countless couples, unraveling the very essence of enduring love. Their findings debunk the notion of love as an elusive sentiment, rather, they reveal it to be an intentional and practiced endeavor. Love is not solely an emotion but a deliberate action, accessible to all who choose to embark on its transformative journey, starting at this very moment. Whether you find yourself basking in the honeymoon phase of a blossoming relationship or celebrating years of marriage, the Gottman's wisdom holds value for everyone. Their comprehensive insights not only ensure the survival of a relationship but also empower it to thrive. Throughout this audiobook, we will explore some of their easily applicable and scientifically substantiated tips. Embrace this counsel as a personalized prescription from the ultimate love experts. With their cure for dissatisfied couples, the Gottman's guidance can invigor. It's never too late to enhance your relationship, and there's no better time to commence this enriching journey than the present moment. So, let us begin and unlock the boundless potential of love within your connection. Chapter 1. Seek Out Fleeting Moments of Connection You've probably encountered this advice before, find ways to connect with your partner. It's a familiar sentiment, but it might be harder to put into practice than it sounds. Jeremy and Allison's experience at the Gottman's Couples Retreat during the COVID-19 pandemic exemplifies the struggle. Overwhelmed and burnt out, they felt they had no time to connect with each other. This sentiment is not uncommon among many couples, but it's not entirely accurate. The truth is, there are numerous opportunities for meaningful connection throughout the day, we just need to recognize them. The Gottmans refer to these opportunities as bids for connection. These bids can be subtle gestures, such as a sigh from your partner, which may serve as an invitation to inquire about their feelings. When your partner makes a bid for connection, you have three choices in responding, turning toward it positively, turning away and not acknowledging it, or turning against it by responding negatively. Imagine this scenario, you're sitting next to your partner, who's engrossed in reading articles on their phone. They casually say, hey, this is interesting. That's a bid for connection. How will you react? You could easily disregard the bid, dismissing it with, not now, I'm in the middle of work. Or, you could choose to turn toward the bid, engaging with your partner and asking, what's the article about? While responding appropriately every single time may prove challenging, it's essential to make an effort to turn toward your partner's bids for connection whenever possible. Why? Because these seemingly insignificant moments accumulate and hold the power to shape the fate of your relationship, for better or worse. Chapter 2. Engage in Profound Inquiry Remember the exhilarating days when you and your partner embarked on the journey of dating, filled with boundless fascination and an endless stream of questions? The excitement of discovering someone you could envision spending your life with was invigorating. However, as time passes, the curiosity often wanes, and your partner may not seem as captivating as before, you feel you already know them inside out. Nonetheless, according to the Gottmans, nurturing curiosity remains vital for sustaining long-term relationships. Continue asking each other thought-provoking questions. Now, what kind of questions are we talking about here? Not mundane inquiries like, did you remember to call the plumber? 
Such queries won't deepen your connection. Instead, aim for big, open-ended questions that prompt meaningful exploration. It could be something profound, like, what's one of your life dreams at the moment? Or you could make it enjoyable and imaginative, asking, if you could design our perfect house, what would it be like? So, go ahead and give it a try today. Think of an intriguing, open-ended question and present it to your partner. If it requires ample discussion, choose a relaxed moment, like during dinner, and feel free to involve friends or family in the conversation. It need not be confined to one-on-one -on -one exchanges. To alleviate any awkwardness, consider posing the question while walking together, perhaps on a hike. There's something about moving your bodies that encourages the conversation to flow more naturally. Turn asking these meaningful questions into a habitual practice. You might be amazed by the answers you receive and come to realize that you still have much to learn about your partner. In truth, it's a fallacy to assume that we can ever entirely know a person, even after living with them for decades. Embrace this never-ending process of discovering and understanding your partner, and let the profound inquiries fortify your bond continually. Chapter 3. Express Heartfelt Appreciation Your partner is a captivating, intricate, and singular individual deserving of recognition for their uniqueness. Amidst life's complexities, certain truths remain simple and universally valid, one of them being the universal desire to feel appreciated. This truth applies to you, your partner, and the entirety of humanity. Thankfully, the act of showing appreciation is remarkably uncomplicated. Let us exemplify the power of just two little words. Joel and David found themselves trapped in a disheartening cycle of negativity, resentment, and criticism when they sought guidance from the Gottmans. However, a profound transformation occurred one day, with Joel and David displaying newfound harmony and contentment during their counseling session. They even sat closer together on the couch, radiating positivity. Curious about the shift, the Gottmans inquired, and Joel's response was simple yet profound, David thanked me for making the coffee. In that moment, the magic of a sincere thank you worked wonders for the couple. Not only did it create a sense of appreciation between Joel and David, but it also shifted their focus towards acknowledging each other's positive aspects. As human beings, we tend to default to criticism, as our brains are wired to seek out problems. However, through dedication and time, it is possible to reprogram our minds to emphasize the positives instead. Make a deliberate effort to genuinely observe your partner's behavior, taking note of all the kind, helpful deeds they perform throughout the day. You might be surprised by the myriad ways they contribute, from tidying up the kitchen swiftly to assisting your child in preparing for school. When you recognize these positive actions, refrain from staying silent. Instead, communicate your gratitude to your partner. Cultivate the habit of expressing thank you even for the most mundane, everyday occurrences. By regularly thanking your partner, you foster a culture of appreciation within your relationship, laying a simple yet profound foundation for enduring love. Chapter 4. Offer Heartfelt and Sincere Praise while expressing gratitude through thank you is a wonderful gesture, there's another effortless way to demonstrate appreciation, shower your partner with genuine compliments. Now, you might think this advice is self-evident or that you already compliment your partner, albeit infrequently. However, the key lies in understanding the type of compliments that truly fortify relationships. According to the Gottmans, the most impactful compliments are those that focus on your partner's inherent qualities rather than their actions. Praise them for their personality traits that you admire, such as generosity, humor, sensitivity, or creativity. If you find giving compliments challenging, try this exercise. Begin by identifying positive adjectives that aptly describe your partner's exceptional qualities. Next, keenly observe them in different situations, specifically looking for moments when these admired qualities shine through. 
When you spot such a moment, take the initiative to verbalize your admiration. Tell them sincerely how much you love their generosity or express your profound admiration for their creativity. If expressing it aloud seems daunting, consider writing down the compliment instead. Describe an instance where their generous act deeply touched you and share it with them. You'll be surprised how this simple practice can reignite the spark in your relationship. In general, never underestimate the power of kindness towards each other. It holds immense significance. The Gottmans conducted a comprehensive study of various couples, investigating the ratio of positive to negative interactions within their relationships. The goal was to ascertain the minimum number of positive interactions required to balance out negative ones. The result was astonishing. In romantic relationships, you need 20 positive interactions for every single negative one. That's how vital positive interactions are in maintaining a healthy bond. So, seize the opportunity now and share a heartfelt compliment with your partner. Let them know precisely what you love about them, praising them for who they are, not just for their external attributes or deeds. This simple act of appreciation can weave an enduring tapestry of love and affection between you both. Chapter 5. Communicate your needs openly and effectively. As we delve deeper, recurring themes emerge, emphasizing the significance of proactive actions and transparent communication within your relationship. Despite your partner possessing numerous wonderful qualities, they are not mind readers. They cannot decipher your thoughts or discern your current needs without your clear expression. Miscommunication often fuels tension in relationships. Dropping subtle hints and then harboring resentment when your partner fails to meet your unspoken needs is a common pitfall. However, how can they fulfill your needs if they remain unaware of what they are? Regrettably, many of us struggle to articulate our needs effectively, possibly influenced by our upbringing. Men may suppress their needs due to societal pressure to be strong providers, feeling reluctant to seek assistance. On the other hand, women are often conditioned to prioritize the needs of others, sometimes neglecting their own. In a harmonious, thriving relationship, you should feel at ease expressing your needs directly and without resorting to criticism. For example, if you require help with the cleaning, saying, you never clean, is not the ideal approach. So, what should you do instead? Fortunately, the Gottmans offer a valuable template to help you express your needs effectively. First and foremost, remember that the focus is on you and your needs, not on your partner. During the conversation, discuss the situation you wish to change while centering your feelings about it. For instance, if the kitchen is messy and overwhelming, you can say something like, the kitchen is really messy, and I feel overwhelmed. Next, clearly state your positive need, ensuring specificity. In the kitchen example, you could say, please, could you help me by doing the dishes? By following this approach, you communicate your needs without resorting to criticism and without expecting your partner to possess telepathic abilities. Simply convey your feelings about the situation and articulate how they can support you in meeting your needs. This way, you can foster an environment of open communication and understanding within your relationship. Chapter 6. Embrace Physical Connection while we've primarily focused on verbal communication thus far, the physical aspect of a relationship is equally vital. Touch holds incredible significance for all of us, akin to a potent drug. A simple kiss or warm embrace triggers the release of oxytocin, a hormone that bestows numerous benefits upon us. It reduces stress, lowers blood pressure, and fosters a profound sense of connection with our partner. Physical contact is advantageous for everyone, yet it's essential to recognize that individual attitudes towards touch can be influenced by upbringing and past experiences. Cultural factors also come into play. An intriguing study by researcher Sidney Jurd in the 1960s, known as the Coffee House Study, 
observed couples' behavior in various cities worldwide, tallying the frequency of their touches, from subtle strokes to leaning knees. The results displayed striking disparities among cultures. Parisian couples, on average, engaged in over 100 touches per hour, while London couples recorded zero instances of touch. Cultural touch taboos were apparent. Considering these differences, it's crucial to acknowledge that you and your partner may have varying preferences when it comes to physical contact. To ensure comfort and mutual understanding, engage in open discussions about each other's feelings regarding touch. Once you've established your partner's preferences, the Gottmans suggest actively seeking touch opportunities. Embrace every chance you get to hug your partner for at least 20 seconds, the time required for oxytocin's effects to manifest. While kissing is undeniably delightful, other subtle gestures can also produce a similar boost of oxytocin. For instance, when sitting together on the couch, wrap an arm around your partner or discreetly touch feet under the dinner table. Physical touch should be a regular, everyday occurrence, not confined to intimate moments or special occasions. Speaking of which, when was the last time you and your partner went on a date? Remember to cherish these shared experiences as well, nurturing your bond beyond the physical realm. Chapter 7. Prioritize Joyful Date Nights In the midst of a long-term relationship, it's all too easy to let date nights slip from your priorities. Perhaps you find yourselves too busy, exhausted, or facing financial constraints, making the pursuit of fun seem like a distant luxury. However, it's time to shift this perspective, as regular date nights are an absolute necessity. The Gottmans even advocate for it as if it were a prescribed remedy, do something enjoyable with your partner. Ultimately, that's precisely what it's about, having fun together. The significance of shared laughter and adventure cannot be overstated. In many cases, complaints about a lack of intimacy in a relationship often stem from a scarcity of joy and excitement. To rekindle the spark and relish each other's company once more, embark on regular date nights. It doesn't have to entail camlala dinners in fancy restaurants, nor does it require significant time or expenses. In fact, you don't even need to leave your home. Take Vanessa and Carlos, for instance, who demonstrated their creativity during the pandemic. They had date nights in their backyard, relishing the simple pleasure of roasting marshmallows with their kids over a fire. Later, after tucking the kids in, Vanessa and Carlos returned to the fire, sitting together, conversing, and enjoying wine. Undoubtedly, committing to date nights might not always be a breeze. Work and stress may intervene, draining your energy. However, Vanessa and Carlos understood the paramount importance of prioritizing their relationship. In Vanessa's words, life was stressful. Something had to give. And I decided that it wasn't going to be our marriage. So, if a content and lasting relationship is your goal, make a pact with your partner to embrace regular date nights, regardless of the circumstances. If you wish, you can even ask them out right now, planning for your next delightful date. Don't fret too much about the details, the key is spending quality time together, just the two of you, free from screens and distractions. Remember, nurturing your relationship is akin to following the doctor's orders, an essential prescription for a happy and enduring bond. Summary Love transcends mere emotions, it's a continuous series of choices made, moment by moment, day after day. Regardless of the current state of your relationship or the duration you've been together, there are always opportunities to foster deeper connection and intimacy. Sometimes, it's as effortless as posing a question to your partner or tenderly putting your arm around them. These seemingly small gestures accumulate over time, ultimately shaping the happiness and endurance of your relationship. Practical Step Every day, designate a specific time for a 10-minute check-in with your partner. It could be during a morning coffee ritual or after the kids are asleep at night. 
irrespective of the timing, use these 10 minutes to focus solely on each other. Ask your partner, is there anything you need from me today? And commit to fulfilling their request to the best of your ability. This simple yet powerful practice cultivates trust and deepens the connection between you both. This audiobook summary was brought to you by Janky Mind. We hope you enjoyed it.